Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be Pacific Rim NECA figures. We have two Jaegers, we have the Russian built Cherno Alpha and a Japanese built Coyote Tango. And uh, both are kind of featured in the Pacific Rim movie. Really great. I can't remember if this is Wave 3 or Wave 4 of the NECA figures that uh, came out. Um, I kind of just lost track. <laughs> Although I kind of told myself I'm gonna stop buying them just because of uh, certain issues and well apparently they start improving them and these two are supposedly a lot better than their predecessor ones which is kind of weird since the Coyote Tango is a Mark 1 a lot uh, or a lot uh, built earlier on than the Gypsy Danger and uh, Striker Eureka same thing with Chernobyl Alpha but they're getting released at a later uh, date than the others. Something tells me they are going to be released. <laughs> Gypsy Danger and Striker Rika and the other ones with the better uh, better joints like this guy's. Well, we'll see. So here's a box just before I open it. Sadly, you cannot keep the box. And we also have Knife, knife Head and Trespasser. And they are a lot bigger than the previous six inch um, NECA figures. I, I also got those two. I will review them after these two guys. And I think that's about it. Just in terms of uh, what you see in the box. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and open them up. We have Cherno Alpha here. And quite surprisingly, this is probably one of the best articulated NECA Pacific Rim figures as of yet. <laughs> Alright, so head cannot rotate for obvious reason. It's not designed. It's supposed to be a tank uh, with a big, uh, it's kind of like a nuclear reactor or the cooling tower actually. And uh, this parts here moves in a movie, but not here. You do have waist, a waist articulation, pretty good. Shoulder, it's double jointed, and it's one of those big uh, ball joints. So not really much of an issue it's not gonna break um, I didn't have any problems with paint sticking which happened with uh, what is that one? Crimson Typhoon there we go so no problems there elbow 90 degree bend that's amazing there's a view on the back cool gimmick they have this is they have the piston for the punching for the punching motion so that's really cool that they have that gimmick and even a clasping that's amazing <laughs> and it, it's just one of those that they should have had it to begin with yeah um looking down on the waist you have this hips although weird how this one feels like a pinch this joint right here, it's sticking out. Huh. Is that a defect? Uh, oh, it kind of is. Let me fix that first. <laughs> Alright, managed to get it off. Basically, this bag is only halfway in. Yep. So you can pry it out with uh, probably with a screwdriver if that ever happens to you. I mean, there's multiple joints with the same... Uh, Design and I just thought that I didn't have any problems with this guy, but eh, it could be something just odd that happens. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna straighten this out and let me see if I can put it back in. All right, <laughs> I managed to put it on, although it's a little troublesome. I actually broke the peg. Good thing there's a a hole there already. I stuck in a, a jumbo paper clip, uh, kind of like a rod for support. I had a little bit of super glue just for the peg and pushed it in. Although it's not easy, uh, as you can see on the back, it does. It's all. It's it went through. It's actually using a hole puncher. <laughs> I was just keep pounding the this top part, and it actually went all the way. Because how much, uh, well, how much pressure the whole puncher is doing, so that was kind of funny. 
but I got it in there and it's secure now. Well, hoping. Um, if that happened to you, I'm not sure how how proficient you are with using tools. Uh, even with half a peg holding it, I think it, it's fine. Let's just leave it as is. But yeah, if someone like me, I would probably well, I like to fix it. Anyways, moving on with the review. <laughs> um, the the knee bend on this guy is amazing. Look at that. It's just crazy. I wish Gypsy Danger has this articulation. Then you have the knee, which he got that big joint there. And you have a ball joint on the base. So that's, again, great articulation for Charno Alpha. Um, doesn't have a swivel on the tie here, so you can't really turn it on the side. But. You know, for the most part, well, I'm trying to, you know, you can't. <laughs> yeah, nonetheless, it's great. This is a great figure, Charno Alpha. All right, let's move on with Coyote Tango. Actually extends a lot longer than I thought. So if you keep going, well, I think that's the farthest you can go. That's pretty much how far you can extend this. So that's quite a bit. And also I realized that there's a swivel here. That's great. So you can just extend it all the way and take it out. <laughs> Rocket punch! Oh, gee, that's not a bad idea. Alright, um, I don't think I have any problems with Coyote Tango. So far that I haven't noticed yet. <laughs> so, uh, it's kind of cool. I kind of have to gunship. Um, well, I think it's uh, based off uh, a helicopter. So we have that uh, the face shield. It's kind of like that um, metal cage on the window. It's nice. I think it's one of the lightweight frames also. Really cool. You have the two cannons on the back, or I think they call them mortars, uh, for long range. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, I think other than the mortars, he has the kind of like a energy pulse on his uh, hand, kind of like a Gypsy Danger. But obviously, he cannot have that. He does. He does have three fingers, kind of like a turtle. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All right, articulation. You have the head or the neck. You have the waist. Are great. I think it's a. I think it might be. Yeah, it might be a single joint there. Shoulder. Articulation. Um, you do have a little bit of bicep swivel there, so that's always good to have. And probably say 45 degree um, elbow bend, which I mean. I think on other toys we got spoiled with the 90 or almost 180 degree bend. But nonetheless, not so bad. Then you have the wrist. Right up and in terms of the hips. Not too bad also. I mean that's fairly good articulation, range of movement. Knee bend 45. But that gives you different poses. Most likely he'll be standing. Another great thing, he does have a swivel here. So he can have his feet pointing outward. Which, it's a lot better. I like that. He's not like, just like blocky. So you can actually spread him apart. And that's really great that they added that. Um, ankle. It's here double jointed also. Actually, this one it's joint on on the uh, on the leg and joint on the feet. Although I think my bottom one is stuck. Um, actually no, it's only a joint on the bottom of the leg. Huh. All right. Uh, otherwise, the cool gimmick on this guy is the mortars 
So when you move this guy up, uh, you see this uh, kind of like a uh, tank treads here, just and it moves with it. That's great and has wide variety of motion. That's a really cool gimmick. Same thing with the other one, and that's really that's really cool that they have that. So Coyote Tango, it's actually a pretty cool design that they have that. Gun cannon. <laughs> That's what that just reminded me. Just need to paint him uh, in metallic red. There you go. So that's like a really cool gimmick that they have there. All right. So I think that's about it for Coyote uh, Tango. And here's a group photo of them so far. The release Jaegers. Although you have a uh, battle damage, Gypsy Danger. But I'm just gonna have this guy here. So again, the the release ones are a little bit bigger, and actually a lot more articulated than your previous ones. <laughs> actually, I had a couple of issues. Um, one of which is I'm just gonna quickly point this out. Crimson Typhoon. This part here is stuck. So I think for the most part you can only do this. It just become a single peg. He doesn't have the ball joint which I have oops <laughs> which I have right now I did really properly secure the, this peg joint but it's a revolt tank uh, joint I think it might be the 8 millimeter and I basically cut off that uh, peg right there and drill on it so I can slip this in now I have a wide variety of um, movement and made that crimson typhoon a lot better Kind of like this hand here. This is what it's supposed to do, but to get that paint issue. Um, same thing with uh, Striker Eureka. Actually, one of the shoulders here got stuck, so I think it's this multi joint on the shoulder. This part here, it's stuck, so I had to find a way to clean that out. Some paint chipping and actually also did a modification where you cut this off this chunk here put two uh, pegs or in this case a jumbo uh, paper clip and this gives you an, uh, gives you a compartment to store the blades back kind of like the movie so that's that's a cool uh, thing to do some modifications and I would like to thank a good friend in Facebook Aziz uh, who showed me this Cool, cool trick of modding your striker Rika, and I kind of wish that they've done that in the first place. Because otherwise, I think it's just like this. <laughs> it doesn't give you much clearance. So now you can fold it all the way back, and it's striker Rika. It's a lot cooler now. <laughs> otherwise, this guy. Would be nice if they remake it kind of like Coyote Tango with better articulation. I want that swivel on the leg. Like you kind of do here, but not really. Knee articulation is fine like that. Elbow could be better, I would assume. I mean, it just. It would be nice if this is more articulate. Yeah, I mean. It is a robot, it's supposed to be bulky, but I mean, you, should, you see it in the movie, it's actually really mobile. But we'll see, maybe they'll release new Pacific Rim figures, maybe even one with interchangeable uh, forearms for the cannon. We'll see, or maybe they even make a big. Oh, oops. <laughs> They already made a uh, 8 inch figure, but it would be nice if you have one that you can actually transform, get the blitz coming out, transform to a cannon, all in one. But that might be just wishful thinking. Anyways, that is for the review of Coyote Tango and Charter Alpha, and a little bit of spiel of different mods. Hope you guys like it, and let me know if you have any questions. Um, again, be wary of QC issues. They are kind of predominant, but 
when you get lucky, you don't have any issues. But yeah, just try your best not to break them. Maybe, maybe you can even ask uh, if you could have a replacement. But I'm not entirely. I haven't done replacement parts yet, or a replacement of the figure at, at on its own. That's about it for the this review. So until then, this is Meads. Thank you for watching.